The second occasion was between the afternoon of the 14th of December and the morning of the 16th of December. I'm also sure, given the nature and number of other injuries and their location on Finley's body, that he was subject to repeat, repeated abuse on multiple occasions. Once the injuries have been inflicted, Finley's daily experience was one of considerable pain, distress and suffering. You both knew that Finley was very seriously ill and dying as a result of what you had done to him, yet you deliberately failed to seek any medical help for him and you deliberately made sure that he was not seen by anyone who could have rescued him and taken him away from your care. Medical intervention would have saved Finley's life, and if Finley had been given antibiotics and the necessary care in the minutes and hours before he died, he would have made a complete recovery. He would have been alive today. Neither of you have shown any remorse at all for what you have done. Weighing up these factors, the minimum term in your case, Stephen Bowden, will be 29 years.